All right, the question was, what is the use or the purpose of the water tank if I'm actually pulling my water from the customer's source? Why even have the tank at all? Well, the reason we have this tank is because, like most of the professionals I know, we use higher flow machines. And this machine in particular is eight gallons a minute. So, if we get to a source and they're only pushing out, say, seven gallons a minute, this tank act as our, acts as our buffer. Essentially, we have water coming into the tank. We've got a filter here to get out any debris. And then we have a float valve on the other side. That float valve keeps, so if the water is flowing, we're off the trigger. It just keeps us from overflowing the tank. But anyhow, the water goes in. We fill up to a certain extent. If we actually show up to the job already and have some excess water from the last job, say we've got 132 gallons of water, and we're pushing seven gallons a minute. Source is pushing seven gallons a minute. That leaves us with a minute, a gallon a minute deficit. And that gallon a minute deficit, if it was going straight to the pump, could cause cavitation and tear up an expensive eight gallon a minute pump. But because we have a buffer tank, we are pulling straight from the water. We've always got a, a, a full source of flow going to our machine. And as you see in this one, I've got another filter here going in to the pump and this is what's going to keep us from cavitating the pump so if I start out with 132 gallons I've got 132 minutes of runtime and that 132 minutes of runtime for the most part is probably longer because we're not going to be on the trigger the, the, the entire time and whatnot um, you know we stop the brush or stop to move something or or talk to a neighbor or whatever but uh, for the most part 132 minutes can do, do a lot of work and we're going to get more minutes out of that anyhow before we have to actually stop and start uh, um, waiting for our water flow to pick back up and imagine if we start out with 250 or 260 we'll get plenty of run time even though the actual source that we're pulling from isn't pushing enough to run our machine so basically the tank is just a buffer and also the tank acts as a cooler just like your oil cooler or your radiator what we're doing here is as the water comes through we've got a bypass so when we let off that trigger that water gets recirculated but instead of going the one inch back into the inlet here like a residential or a lesser commercial model we're not worrying about that heat building up because that water is just flowing back and forth back and forth back and forth through there creating friction and the heat can damage your seals our bypass actually goes back into the tank cools itself and back through again that is why we use a water tank even though we're going to be pulling from our customer source